So we're here again to talk about the fundamentals of synthesis, and this week we're going to talk about the mixer section. Here we go. Hello Internet, Chris Klein here with Alma Music Center in San Antonio, and in our last segment on the fundamentals of synthesis we talked about the oscillator. Well today we're going to talk about the mixer. Do all synthesizers have a mixer? I don't know, most of them do. It depends on how flexible the oscillator is or how many oscillators are incorporated into the architecture of the synthesizer. So, once again, using our trusty Roland SH-101, we're going to look at the source mixer today. Let's do this. So in our last video, we talked about the oscillator and we kind of toyed with the mixer a little bit. We didn't get into too much depth because I was wanting you to hear or have an understanding of what an oscillator is. Uh, we talked about subtractive synthesis. I don't know that I really got into additive synthesis. Maybe I touched on it a little bit, but I wanted you to understand what subtractive synthesis is and that we have these complex waveforms where we can manipulate subtract frequencies uh, to change the timbre of the synth. So the mixer, its primary function is to allow us to mix the different waveforms that exist on the, our trusty SH-101 or any synth for that matter that has the same functionality. I'm just going to turn it all the way off, bring it back up, that's our pulse. Let's go ahead and go down an octave. Now if I want to incorporate a little more growl into my oscillator, I can bring up the sawtooth and you will hear it, it'll start to growl a little bit more. It starts to cut, it's going to get louder too, but here it's a little more buzzy and it cuts a little bit more. And then with our sub oscillator, if I start to bring this up, starts to bring more low end weight. And right now it's just one octave down. Remember here in our mixer or our sub oscillator, which we discussed in the previous video, it's adding another square wave, one octave down. We can do two octaves down. And we can change the pulse width two octaves down as well. really fantastic uh, functionality here with our mixer and changing the timbre of the synth just by manipulating the levels of the waveforms that exist in the SH-101. A mini Moog has the same thing. It has a mixer with multiple oscillators, three oscillators. The big difference there is we can detune our oscillators so we can create uh, more coarse type sounds or we can even create triads. We can create chords by detuning the oscillators. We can't do this here on the SH-101, but there's a lot of other functionality that exists here uh, on this keyboard that doesn't exist on a mini that I find personally way more useful. So now that we've, excuse me, now that we have covered the oscillator and the mixer, and we have an idea of what these two things, these two components sound like and what their function is, we're going to go ahead and move forward to the next video in our series. Uh, so we understand that some of you already know how all this stuff works, but we also know that there are quite a few people that don't fully understand what's happening on the signal path, and that's why we're doing this. So if there's something else that you would like for us to cover in regards to synthesis, please let us know in the comments below. Or if I miss something, I miss things all the time. I'm, I'm human. I'm fallible. I know this. So if I miss something, also, please let me know or let us know down in the comments below and let's keep this conversation flowing. Um, we really enjoy uh, sharing this information and, and hopefully giving people uh, a better understanding and, and building blocks to help their music production uh, life and their knowledge of synthesis or whatever it happens to be a little more stable and a little more firm. <clears throat> With that being said, we are going to be coming back with more, uh, and we do have other channels. We have our bass channel, piano channel, guitar channel, accordion channel. I'm sure we're going to think up of some other channels here at, at some point in the future. So, so please stay tuned. Subscribe to us. Uh, once again, I'm going, to, I'm going to say it again. Comment below. Let's keep the conversation flowing. Until next time, I'm Chris Klein with Alma Music Center in San Antonio, and we look forward to seeing you again. Keep, keep on creating. Be kind to each other. Bye-bye.